Science 5, Quarter 3, Week 5 to 6, Series and Parallel Circuit. Most essential learning competency determine the effects of changing the number or type of components in a circuit. In the previous lesson, you have learned that electrical circuit has four parts, a source, light bulb, wires, and switch. You also learned that in open circuit, electricity does not flow because there is a gap or no complete path from one end of the circuit to the other end. While in a closed circuit, the path of electricity is complete, allowing electricity to flow through it. This time, you will learn about the effects of changing the number of components in a circuit. Have you observed that in a series of Christmas lights, once one bulb is busted, the other series of lights will not light up? Compare it with lights at home. Thus, it follow the same situation. For instance, when a bulb in a room is busted, will the bulbs in other parts of the house do not light up? Christmas lights and light bulbs in your house have different kinds of circuit. One is a seared circuit and the other one is a parallel circuit. Look at the illustrations carefully. Bulbs that are connected one after the other in one chain is an example of series circuit. In a series circuit, electric current flows through a single path. So when one bulb is loosened or busted, all the other bulbs in this circuit will not light anymore. The loosened or busted bulb breaks or opens the pathway, so electricity cannot flow through. A parallel circuit, on the other hand, has light bulbs with different loops. Thus, each bulb is a part of a different circuit. When one bulb is loosened, taken, or burned out, the other bulbs still light up. This is because each bulb has its own pathway. A break in one pathway does not make all the lights go out because electricity can still flow through the other pathways. What kind of circuit do you have at home? If you turn off one bulb, what would happen if you use a series circuit in your home? All the other bulbs will be turned off because in a series circuit, there is only one path of electricity. Thus, the most appropriate circuit for homes is a parallel circuit. In such a circuit, each light and electrical device has its own path of electricity that even if you turn off one of them, the others will still function. The activity that you are going to perform will clearly differentiate series and parallel circuits. For learning task 1, prepare the materials listed. If not available, you may use other materials at home to perform the activity. You may also, uh, you may ask the help of your parents or guardians or any adult members of the family if needed. You will need the following materials. one eight illustration board, two batteries, electric tape, aluminum foil, or pieces of electric wires. Procedures. Note, handle the materials with care, especially the bulb. Set A or set up A. Design a series circuit similar to the illustration in the previous slide. Lay the circuit out on the illustration board, try removing one of the bulbs. Did the other bulb still light up? For setup B, design a parallel circuit similar to the illustration on the previous slide. Lay the circuit out on the illustration board and try removing one of the bulbs. And did the other bulb still light up?
may happen if you add another bulb to both of your setups and why? What may happen if the filament of one of the bulbs in your first step or setup melts and why? What may happen if the filament of one of the bulbs in your second setup melts? Why? And these are the correct answers. For number one, the bulb light up. For number two, it will break. Hence, will not be able to conduct electricity. And for number three, it will still glow or light. For learning task number two, answer the following. Give instances when a parallel circuit is used and when a series circuit is used. Give the advantages and disadvantages in using parallel or series circuit. And these are the correct answers. Number one, a string of Christmas light is an example of a series circuit. The electric outlets in a house are all parallel circuits. For number two, parallel circuit, advantage, easy to connect. Disadvantage, lack of wires. For the series circuit, the advantage is simple to design and build, and the disadvantage is if one goes out, they all go out. As more light added, they become dimmer. For learning task three, draw a heart eyes emoji uh, inside the box above each picture if it is an example of series circuit and wow emoji if it is an example of parallel circuit. For number one, two, three, four, and five. And these are the correct answers. For number one, wow emoji, two wow emoji, three heart eyes emoji, four heart eyes emoji, and five heart eyes emoji. For learning task four, draw an example of series and parallel circuit. Consider the rubric below in doing the task. Five points, the drawing represents a clear understanding of the concept. Four points, the drawing represents a somewhat clear understanding of the concept. Three points, the drawing represents a quite clear understanding of the concept. Two points, the drawing does not represent the concept turn. And one point, the drawing lacks detail. And this is an example of a drawing or an answer to that learning task. For learning task number five, right? Write a brief essay with at least five sentences on why it is important to carefully follow some safety precautions when using electricity. Consider the rubric below in doing the task. Five points. The main idea stands out and it's supported by detailed information. Four points. The main idea is clear but the supporting information is general. Three points, the main idea is somewhat clear but limited supporting details. Two points, the main idea is not clear and limited supporting details. And number one, or point, one point, the main idea is not clear and has no supporting details. And this is an example of an answer to that. Activity. Electrical safety is important because electricity may cause serious injuries or even fatalities. It has the power to cause burns, shocks, and even death. Appliances and power cords can be just as dangerous as electrical power lines if you do not take proper safety precautions. To follow electrical safety rules, keep electrical equipment dry and away from water, prevents damage to Appliances and can protect against personal injury and electrocution. When working with electrical appliances, it is important to have dry hands. And to summarize our lesson about series circuit and parallel circuit, these are their differences and similarity. Series circuit, electric current flows through a single pathway. While parallel circuit, a break in one pathway does not make all lights go out. And their simula similarities, they are route in which an electrical current can flow around. Now for learning task number 6, read each item carefully and choose the letter of your answer. 
Number one, Mary noticed that a set of ten bulbs in her Christmas tree lights did not light up when it was turned on. What could be a probable cause of this? Letter A, small wires are used. Letter B, the, uh, there are bulbs in the strand. Letter C, small bulbs are used. Or letter D, there is one defective bulb in the set. For number two, what will happen to the other bulbs in a series connection when one bulb is removed? The other bulbs will blank. A light, B night, li not light, C have dim light, D have bright light. And these are the answers. For number 1, letter D. For number 2, letter B. And for number 3, what will happen to the other bulbs in a parallel connection when one bulb is removed? Letter E, few bulbs will light. D, the other bulbs will still light. Letter C, a few, a few bulbs will no longer light. Or letter B, the other bulbs will no longer light. For number 4, which of the following measures can prevent fire caused by electricity? Letter E, have a regular inspection of electrical cords. Letter B, avoid walking under low dangling wires. Letter C, touch a switch with dry hands. And letter D, do not leave sockets empty. And for number 5, in a series connection, why do remaining bulbs not light up when one bulb is taken out of its holder? Letter E, the other bulbs will not light. Letter B, the other bulbs were burnt out. Letter C, the, the path of electric current was renewed. Or letter D, the path of electric current became incomplete. And these are the correct answers. For number 3, letter D, 4E, and 5D. And that ends our lesson about the series and parallel circuit. Do you have any questions? If you have questions, you can chat me or you can message me in my FB account, Teacher Rona, or you can comment down in our video. Thanks for listening and happy learning. Bye-bye.